So this past week we got the first trailer for the Forever Purge. Let's break it down. Shout out to Nacho Gamer MX who's been pestering me with comments about doing this one. Thank you so much, Nacho, for keeping me on my toes. I hope you enjoy the video. Anyway, the trailer opens up as any good purge trailer should, showing us, you know, people purging as we hear that the purge is actually about to conclude. And as it counts down, the night comes to an end, the bloodshed stops and the sun rises. As the sun rises over this kind of seemingly sleepy, quiet little town, you know, we hear that it's all over, they've made it, and we see Ana de la Reguera's character, sorry about messing up her name there, uh, we see her character kind of walking out of this purge shelter uh, as she's coming back into town. Ana de la Reguera will actually be an army of the dead uh, that drops tomorrow on Netflix playing Cruise. I'm keen to see her in that, so I'm really keen to see her in this as well. She looks like she's really stepping on the scene in quite a big way. Uh, just a little shout out to Army of the Dead because I've been doing so many videos on it and getting a lot of views because of it. If you're here because of Army of the Dead, thank you and I hope I get your continued support. Anyway, let's keep on going. I'm really liking the look of this kind of purge uh, bunker that they've kind of been hiding out in. I really like that whole concept. So as we hear, all police and emergency services will resume, you know, their normal duties. We see people kind of getting back to their own farm life. We see a guy going past with his, you know, bales of hay. Everyone, you know, is going back to being peaceful. All the blood's being washed away. And I really like this part of the trailer. I really do enjoy seeing the aftermath of the purge. I've always wondered, like, what would happen if someone's just standing right over someone with a machete about to absolutely clean, take their head clean off? And then that siren goes. Are they going to stop mid-swing? Are they going to keep going? You know, how many people follow the rules? to a T, how many things like go unwitnessed and you know, I'm pretty sure people have broken the purge before so it is cool that we're finally getting uh, a movie that focuses on people breaking the rules of the purge. And I've always wondered about how all the businesses that would have been made in this universe with, you know, cleanup crews like purge cleaners and stuff like that. It's just all very cool and I've always wanted to see this universe kind of explore that aspect of things. So it's just really nice to see uh, Ana de la Reguera's character walking here and seeing everyone, you know, cleaning up their houses, their businesses and just basically wiping all of the last night's bloodshed off the streets. Things seem a little bit off as the trailer moves forward and we then see this cage with a goat in it and as uh, Ana de la Reguera's character goes up to the goat to try and help it and try free it, it goes full saw on her, full jigsaw as she is trapped and as she's like screaming and writhing around for help, these creepy ass bunny masked people appear from the dumpster, you know, just adjacent to this trap is they're coming up to her and she's like screaming the purge is over, the purge is over and they're just looking at her like nah 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 don't be silly and this little thing, this little mechanism that's kind of coming down and like spiking out, yeah, it looks like we could see some eye trauma and that's going to freak me out, I've been freaked out by eyes ever since Dead Space but yeah, I'm, the one thing I love about the purge is just all the crazy zany costumes that come with it. The first purge movie was quite serious in tone, I'd say, and it played it, you know, pretty pretty close to the chest with how crazy people could really get. I mean, they had creepy masks, but nothing too over the top, and the villains in that one were very staid. But ever since, it's went completely balls to the walls over the top, and I actually embrace it. I quite like it. Uh, I embrace the cheesiness, and I love the absolute, you know, creativeness of all these evil people that deserve to purge every uh, one day of the year. Uh, and I'm just loving that, you know, it spawns so many crazy, cool Halloween costumes. And I can definitely see a few bunny masked people this Halloween because these guys look terrifying. They've not even washed the blood from last night's purge off them yet. So, yeah, they are thirsty for more. Then we see this skull face cowboy looking character at the ranch. He obviously jumps the guy who owns the ranch here uh, with his squad who all look like they're dressed up like Erin Black. They're doing their best Erin uh, Black cosplay from Mortal Kombat. They look really bad, badass and I just love how he's like saying, you know, the purge is over and they're like, no it ain't. And it's just, you know it's fucked. It's gonna get fucked. And then we see this uh, big establishing shot of the town just going into absolute chaos fire and smoke 
everywhere. The whole place is getting burnt down. Do I have to say, CGI fire doesn't look great. CGI smoke doesn't look great. But, you know, shots like this, they kind of have to be in there to show you the wider aspect of the devastation. But for me, I care more about the up close and personal practical effects and stuff like that. So I can kind of look over this. But, I do have to say, it doesn't look too good here. We see police cars getting petrol bombed, people in the back of trucks, you know, getting driven places, probably to be purged by richer folks than them, uh, like we've seen before. And then we just see people skipping about the streets, going absolutely mental. And I just love how people absolutely lose their minds when the purge is on, or in this case, when it's not even on. We then hear some dialogue about the rich not being able to hide behind their steel walls anymore. So obviously these people who have continued to purge in this town have a chip on their so shoulder with those who are richer than them. Maybe the rich have, you know, hid every single purge while all these poorer people have been killed off in brutal ways. And now the poorer people who have survived have went, you know what, fuck it, we're going to purge too and take from you what's been taken from us every year prior to this. Obviously, though, they couldn't have done that on Purge Night because all the richer people will be able to hide behind steel walls, just like he says. So they have waited until the next day where they will all be coming out of their hidey holes and far more vulnerable. But I'm really liking this gang of outlaws with the masks. They just look really cool to me. And, you know, that's what you'd expect from, like, rural purgers. Then he delivers the line, you know, this is the real Purge, the forever Purge. It's super cheesy, I know, but... I don't mind it, like, I, I'm just expecting cheese from now on. We then see some other townsfolks fighting back, I'm pretty sure this is like Anna Della Guerra's brother and stuff like that, as they take these cowboys out, helping the farmers, but we see more and more pud purgers, uh, you know, coming in on dune buggies, big machine guns attached to pick up trucks, and then we get even more awesome masks. I love this mask, it's so sick. It's almost like black mask from the DC universe, but with bullets for teeth, like so creative, so cool. I just love the effort these purgers put into their masks, honestly, it's fantastic. It just looks like it's going to be absolute chaos, you know, town wide, there's bodies everywhere, bodies flying, people shooting every, like, left, right and centre, and yeah, it just looks like a good time, we see one of the bunnies about to get absolutely messed up, you know, a re bit of revenge exacted on them for whatever they do, and yeah, we just see absolute chaos everywhere. The thing that is quite annoying about this trailer, you kind of see how a lot of scenes are going to play out because this guy who's driving the truck obviously gets out and smashes that construction worker's head in with the sledgehammer. So now we kind of know what happens and expect it when the movie drops, which is annoying. I do feel like nowadays just trailers for like movies like this just show far too much. Like you don't have to show that. We already kind of know what it is just show us little snippets here and there don't give us like full scenes and show us the conclusion of scenes because then when it pays off in the movie it doesn't feel like a payoff because we already know it's coming but that's a problem with like almost every movie these days so you know whatever we then see some shots of what looks like a far more built up city so it looks like we are going to go from the rural area to the city area we then see this truck which i guess has like locked up purgers in the back barrel rolling so I'm wondering if someone's going to like set them free or something like that. As we do see people like opening up the back door of this sheriff's van. But I wonder why they would try to free them if they are purgers. What would be really cool is if they're purgers but they actually respect the purge and they purge on that one night and will be arseholes on that one night. But then as soon as that siren goes, they switch it off and they go back to being law-abiding citizens. So then you've got like proper purgers fighting against these illegal purgers. I think that would be really cool, like seeing two sides of the coin and, you know, having these kind of three different parties all kind of warring and going at it. I don't know, that's just my idea, but I think that would be pretty damn interesting. We then see more shots of this more city uh, kind of wide area with the National Guard or the army uh, manoeuvring through it. Obviously they get called in because they're like, holy shit, people are not stopping this purge. We need to step in and just wipe them out. We see people pinned up to walls and stuff like that. And it looks pretty brutal. I'm liking the brutality I'm seeing from this trailer and just the blood and gore in general. Anna Della Reguera then tells us, you know, this country's going to collapse just before we kind of pan over the city here and see that it is now on fire and smoking too. So obviously these people who have haven't stopped purging it's kind of spread people have seen it and went oh they've not stopped 
ah, fuck it, I'm not going to stop then, I'll I'll just go back out and purge. And I think that would be really cool as well if we see people like sitting at boring desk jobs, people are hating their life and then they see on like Twitter or on the news that the purge is still going. So they just get up and go full James McAvoy with their keyboard and all their co-workers and their boss. I think that would just be sick. And then we do see like them kind of hatch a plan to like flee back to Mexico, which is kind of cool because it's usually, you know, people fleeing from Mexico over the border into America, but everyone's like, nah, America's about to go under, so we all need to get back over that border back to Mexico. It looks like it's going to be absolute full-scale warfare in this city area as we see more of it blown up. And it looks like we get a motorbike chase with them, uh, probably when they are he heading to the border. What would be really interesting and cool though is if they got to the Mexico border, got across, but then people in Mexico were like purging as well. It would just be like out of the frying pan into the fryer. Wait, that's not it. Out of the frying pan into the fire. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I meant. I'm losing my mind today. I really like these people we see with like the uh, Longhorn skull masks as well. Uh, one of them goes full J Jason from Friday Far 13th Part 2, busts through this window, grabs Anna de la Reguera, attacks the rest on motorbikes, looks very Mad Max and cool. And it definitely looks like we're going to get a lot of different, you know, situations, locations and like tones and costumes for all the villains out there in this wild wacky purge. I'm really actually quite liking the look of the Forever Purge. It sounds very cheesy and it's got very, you know, cheesy rubbish one-liners here or there like this guy saying, speak English, speak English, damn it. Then he gets lassoed by the neck, whipped a gun out on and then he says, does this translate? You know, it's all very 80s kind of tongue-in-cheek, but I kind of like it and it definitely looks far better than the first Purge. If it's better than that pile of dog shit... I'll be happy. It does make me wonder if this is the forever purge in America just does absolutely annihilate itself. Is this actually going to be the last purge film? Who knows? We'll see. But uh, yeah, I actually thought it looked decent. Like I said, some stuff looks cringe. Some stuff looks kind of shit like the CGI. But you know, the action, if it's there and it's good enough, I'll still have a good time. Purge movies are always good popcorn flicks and I'm keen to hear what you all make of it in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave it a like and if you're new to the channel, then subscribe to join the club. As always, thank you very much for watching and good night.